but the biggest um, game changer is the genetic genealogy. If you just, you know, look at national headlines every day, there is cases getting solved all over the country. Dozens of families of missing persons from across the nation gathered this morning in Ybor City to learn about the new technology that is cracking cold cases. Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Allison Henning. Thanks so much for joining us. For one family, it was a beacon of hope as they attended the event with a poster in hand showcasing their missing loved one. News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers joining us now live in Ybor City. Nicole, a big day for families longing for that closure. Good evening. Families were able to file new missing persons report, update their biometrics, and even get some DNA testing all free of cost. But for the family of Joshua Simmons, it was yet another way they could get his name out there in hopes of bringing him back home. Joshua, come home. We love you. Hundreds of photos, each a missing person with a story of their own, like 35-year-old Joshua Simmons. Even my wife and I were out of town, but we were still over the phone, and he said, I'm going to call you back tonight, Mom, and he never called back. Detectives say on March 3rd, 2022, Simmons left his family's home and checked into a day's inn. He checked out the next day and hasn't been seen or heard from since. It's been terrible. It's been uh, an experience that we would not want anyone to have to go through. A heartbreaking plea from dozens of families who came to a conference in Ybor City Thursday in hopes of finding their missing loved one as new technology cracks cold cases around the nation day by day. You know, a lot of times these cases intersect. On the one hand, you have long-term missing persons. You know, our unidentified are missing persons. It's just that they're not in the system. That's why we can't make a match. So Simmons family holds hope that one day Joshua will be found too. I would want him to hear Joshua. This is mama. You know, we've always been there for each other. I need you really, really bad, baby. Please come home to mama. Now there was a point today that law enforcement did stretch that though there were plenty of resources here in Ybor City today, they are available 24 seven. You just have to call your local law enforcement and you can do all these things in hopes of bringing your missing loved one back home. Live in Ybor City, Nicole Rogers, eight on your side.